We start in Washington, where White House officials say the United States will keep its military in Syria for now. The statement comes one day after President Donald Trump said he wants U.S. troops out of the war-torn country. The White House statement says the military mission in Syria is coming to a rapid end with the Islamic State group being almost completely destroyed. But it says the U.S. and its partners remain committed to eliminating the small presence of the militant group and will continue to consult its allies about future plans. The White House press secretary also made a similar comment without giving a specific timeline for the withdrawal. The goal again is to defeat ISIS and once we completely do that we've made significant progress uh, and when there's no longer a need for troops to be there and we can transition uh, to that local enforcement. A day earlier Trump said he wants to pull American troops out as soon as possible. We make it a decision very quickly in coordination with others in the area uh, as to what we'll do. But his top military commanders argue that the U.S. presence is crucial in Syria to stabilize areas recaptured from Islamic State militants and to prevent Iran from expanding its influence in the country.